For this tutorial, you're going to need a t-shirt or a piece of fabric that you don't mind cutting up and a pair of scissors. Obviously, your scissor doesn't need to be that big. Start by cutting out a fairly large piece of fabric from your shirt. Use the top of your thumb to measure out about an inch in width and cut out a long strip. After a while, you can just eyeball it. Cut out as many long strips as you can. Then, gather all of them together. Use your hand to roughly measure out the length and cut your strips into shorter pieces. Each strip should be about 4 to 6 inches long. Now that I have my strips ready, I'm going to pull out my secret weapon, which is a Sharpie. And not just any regular Sharpie, but a Sharpie with a cap that has a hook. I'm not really sure what this part is called, so I'll just call it a cap hook. Knowing that, you can use any tool that has a cap hook. Like this bigger Sharpie that will give you bigger curls. Or this highlighter that will give you smaller curls. I know you all have a lot of pens lying around, so yes, you can use them as well. As long as they have a cap hook. You can use or experiment with whatever you like, but I'm going to go with my handy dandy sharpie. Now let's work for those curls. Section off half of your hair and divide your bottom layer in half. Take about a 1 to 2 inch section of hair and mist it with some water. You just want to dampen this slightly to about 20 to 30 percent. Do not, I repeat, do not wet your hair. You're going to insert a strip of fabric into the cap hook like so. Then, wrap your hair around a sharpie. Since I want my curls to go away from my face, I would place a sharpie behind my hair to begin with. If you want your curls to roll inward, place a sharpie in front of your hair. When you get to the top, remove the end of the fabric strip from the cap hook and tie it with the other end. Your sharpie should just easily slide out and you can pull the fabric strip even tighter to ensure that your hair will stay in place. Repeat this with another section. If any of your layers fall out, just wrap them back into the sharpie and continue to roll your hair up. Now move on to the other side. When your bottom layers are done, release your hair and clip up the very top portion. Keep on repeating the same steps from earlier. So I'm going to take this chance to urge you to please read the description box before asking any questions. Most likely, the FAQ answers are provided below. Okay, now let's work on the remaining hair. For this outer layer, I like to roll my hair up as close to my roots as possible to give me some volume at the top. Once you're all done, you should look a little crazy like that. And now, let the waiting game begin. I waited for my hair to dry for a little more than an hour, but the time may vary for you. In the meantime, I did two of my favorite things, which is to eat and take a short nap. Hello again, I'm back. To check if your hair has completely dried, just stick your fingers in the rolls and feel around to see if it's still damp. And it's time to remove all of the fabric strips and watch the magic happen. This part is really fun for me and you can already tell that the curls are super bouncy. Now, you just want to gently separate your curls and fix your hair to your liking. Don't worry if they appear too curly. They will loosen up throughout the day. These curls lasted incredibly well for me, even without any hairspray. After I slept on them, they loosened up into some big, soft curls the next morning, as you can see in the picture. If you have any questions, please read the description box first before asking. Thanks so much for watching and I'll definitely have more heatless curling tutorials coming your way. I'll see you all in my next video. Toodles!